Hey, what's up, my people? How you doing? This is Dalton. Got my coffee, and I'm ready to go. Today, I want to talk to you about something that's dear to my heart. I love it. I want to talk to you about free office suite. And what that is, is it's a free downloadable office suite and and you can download it to your you know it's compatible with Linux Windows Mac okay and you can download it to your system and use it and it's free and it, it what it is is it's a compatible word processor you know, like you know, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint. Well, this is a version of that. This, I mean, this this is similar to that. That's compatible with Microsoft, Microsoft's version of those particular uh, clients. So, give you an example. You can use the this Word. For LibreOffice, you can use LibreOffice Word, type up your article, and it is compatible with Microsoft Word, so you won't have that clash, okay? And I have three of them, three free Office suites and links that I will put down below that I think that you will love, okay? I love them, all three of them. They all have their place, but my two favorites is uh, one of them is called uh, WPS Writer. It's WPS Office Suite, and the other is Libre Office. Okay, and comes in third. The one that comes in third for me that I like is um, it is the Open Office. Okay, and I will put the links below okay and let me tell you a little bit about it. okay when I was uh, when I was younger and I was in college uh, I started out I was, I was really naive I started out doing tech support I saw it I was inspired by the matrix the original the first one and I said to myself oh I want to get in technology I want to do something to help people I want to get in technology I want to work with Microsoft. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be working with Bill Gates. I want to work with Microsoft. Do something major to help people and work in technology. And uh, I was like, the first step <laughs> is move to Seattle because Seattle was the hip and hub for technology at that time. So in 1999, when everybody thought the world was in, I moved to Seattle. And I had a reality check. <laughs> Woo, boy, did I learn about the politics of uh, technology and uh, trying to get up, go up in technology. And <laughs> uh, I, I can tell you, man, I, I even had some horror stories, man. I was going to school for technology and I would always have... Uh, and it, not all it wasn't always you know not all Asians are horrible or anything like that but it, there was always a certain amount of Asians with Asians mainly the guys would come up to me and they they were passive aggressive they would do certain things such as uh, you know make fun of uh, my work uh, and when I say passive aggressive, you have to understand how it works. Here in America, we usually try to deal with stuff straight on. You know, you don't like me, I don't like you. You know, in the East, they do it a little bit differently. Okay, um, they try to attack you within, and then they feel like the rest is gonna fall. So they do it a passive aggressive way. And with this guy, for instance, he would always come up to me. It was, oh, is that the fastest you could type? And 
I even had one guy from Japan, and the guy that said it asked me if he would always come up and say stuff like that to me when no one was watching. Okay, that's what I mean by passive aggressive. He would do that, and then, like, if you then had enough and you blow up, then you're the you're gonna be loud, and everybody's gonna look look at you like you're the bad person because they're gonna see you being loud, but they don't see all the little stuff and they picking that that person did to you. And that happened to me a lot, you know. I didn't blow up, um, but I did get attacked a lot, uh, and not only by Chinese, but a lot in Japanese. I had one guy I went to school with. He was Japanese, and he was going in to interpret for death. And uh, he literally told me he said uh, he just felt that all Afro Americans should stick with sports and dancing and leave anything dealing with technology to white, Asian, or East Indians. He said, uh, we got, he told me we had it made by being good entertainers, good dancers, and sports, and we should just stick with that. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, you know, but back back on subject back in the day i you know i could, really couldn't afford microsoft windows we didn't have discounts and stuff like that that you try to throw out now because microsoft was the main you know they were the monopoly you know and they really didn't give no discounts on like that you were lucky if you had a friend that worked at microsoft or knew somebody and maybe you can get it that way a discount through employee discount but otherwise, you're paying full price, and you paid a lot. So when I was going to college, I couldn't afford that, okay? Because the version I had was too old, so it wasn't compatible. And then I was educated by some people I knew that was in technology, and they were into Linux, which is an operating system. And then they, they hit me up to openoffice.org, which was highly compatible with Microsoft Office and then I was introduced later on in my life as I went to because I, I went to uh, tech school for about two years and gave that up uh, and I got interested in criminal justice and that's why I got my Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice but while going to college I used LibreOffice for my office suite Okay, and open office, but LibreOffice later on because it was just a lot easier and a lot more, a lot better. It seemed like a lot more compatible. Okay, so and I like to uh, give that knowledge to you. So, and these are all free, you don't have to pay for them, you could download them from the internet. Uh, Put on a uh, download them if you don't if you have a computer at home or don't have internet. Download the USB on the USB stick. Put it on USB stick. Uh, go to your library, download it to the USB stick, and then take it home and then plug it into your computer and install it. Okay. And I have written many resumes on this and I've gotten many jobs from the resumes I've written with these office suites. So. I will put them in the description box, the links to them in the description box below. And I hope you all enjoy them because uh, they have definitely helped me out throughout my life, uh, college, uh, through my tech school, I mean, yeah, tech school, even through um, when I went to just to get uh, cert, you know, certificates, just because I wanted to learn about something. Okay, wasn't trying to get no uh, degree or anything. Just you know, a certificate. But uh, you still have sometimes you have to type up your papers and stuff. So it was very very helpful, and I think it would help you all as well. Okay, and therefore I will put those links. I've been wanting to do this for the longest time. Sorry it took me so long to get around to it. I will put the links to that in the description box below. And I hope you all subscribe. Uh, also comment 
And if you have other links to help people that's free, go ahead and put it in the link comments in the comments and uh, give a good links down there. Uh, also, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Either way, you're cool with me. And I'll wrap to y'all later. Peace. <laughs>